we're going to be doing um, a, your first command in Minecraft Forge modding. So we'll have our my first mod.java file pulled up over here, and we're going to scroll down to the bottom, and you're going to add a method. It's called server load, and so then you're going to add event register server command new my first command. So my first command here is actually going to be the file name or the class name of your first command. And so whatever you decide to call this, which I recommend you call as my first command, that's going to be what your file name needs to be called. Now your command itself is going to be called something else. And we'll specify the actual command's name later. But for now, just copy this down. OK. Now, to make this file, you're going to go to the right or the left, make a new class. Let's call it my first command. Now, I've already made one, so I'll just call it my first command 2. But you can call yours without the 2. You're going to add an interface. It's going to be called I command. It's 11 o'clock. So you're going to add that. Great. And nothing else needs to be added. Be able to press finish. There it will be. It will look like this. Everything is blank. We need to fix some values. Let's go over here. This is the one I've already done. And so um, there we go. We don't need that for now. I already have this for you. We're going to go over the methods associated with my first command as generated when implementing the I command interface. You don't know need to know what that means right now, but I'm just telling you. So over here we have our method called get command name. And it's going to return a string. In this case I've decided to call my command stored in the my first command that I have a um, class file. I'm going to call the actual command which we will be referencing in Minecraft as my first command all lowercase. Obviously, this cannot have any spaces in it because it is a command. If you wanted to add options to your command, we will cover that later. Um, but it won't be through here, so I'll, it'll be through something else. Um, then we have our get command usage. Now, this method is going to be what's going to be returned when you type in slash help and then search for this command. And notice the parameter here, I command sender. Um, you do need to accept it, but you won't be using it. And um, Or you can use it, but you don't need to. So I just return do stuff with it. I don't know. We have our get command aliases. Now, an alias is basically another name for something. And so if your command does not need another name or another um, command that does the same thing, then you don't. You can just leave it as return null. But if I wanted to say add that, whenever you do slash mfc in chat, it would do the exact same thing as slash my first command, and you would do it like so. If I wanted to add another alias, it would just be like this. Now notice I'm using an array list. If you're not familiar with that, it's okay. It's basically like a list of things. And I will just call it my first because the command is too long to type it. Okay. Next we have our most important part, arguably, of this entire class called process command. So this is going to be the method that occurs when you do slash my first command. You'll be accepting two parameters. One is the I command sender, and then the other is are the strings. So basically if I typed in slash my first command space blah blah blah, the blah 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 is going to be stored over here. And you will need to copy this code down exactly as it appears. I don't want you guys messing up. Um, if you're proficient in Java, 
you will be able to change this as you need to, but this is mainly the Minecraft Forge API, so um, don't make any changes to this unless you know what you're doing. Um, as you can see here, you're adding a new translation in your uh, internationalization file over here. I called mine msg.myfirstcommand.txt. You can call it name. Or it's not really a name, though. Um, so I'll call it value. msg.myfirstcommand.value. So over here, you type in msg.myfirstcommand.value, and then it'll say you just ran my first command. And over here, um, can the command sender use command? Um, basically, if you were to limit this to ops, then you probably look at the I command sender and see whether it were a player that's an op or not. If it isn't, you might be able to restrict access. But for now, we're going to make this command um, be executed by everyone. So you'll always return true. And you can leave these as they are. So let's save these files and let's run. Now I'm going to start up Minecraft. Okay, so this is not an error that should happen, but um, that was because I removed a mod, so don't worry about that. Alright, so now let's try our command, my first command, and here is to say, oops, you just ran my first command, now let's try MFC, like the same thing. My first, like the same thing. If I were to do something random, my first command, that's not an alias that I specified, so it will say unknown command. Okay, now that we have gotten the hang of that, you are freely able to explore.